Uh, Germany will be electing a new parliament this weekend and it's promising to be a close race. With no party heading for an outright majority, coalition talks are likely, with outsider factions possibly having a decisive influence on what the Bundestag looks like come next week. RT's Peter Oliver attended a rally of one of the parties that is now unexpectedly set to make a crucial difference. They're Germany's political new kids on the block, but it does seem that Alternative for Germany will have a key role to play in shaping what the country does politically over the next few years. Now, the most recent polls ahead of the elections next Sunday suggest that Alternative for Germany will be taking a good 4%. It's expected they'll take far more from that when Germans actually get in to the voting, the polling stations. Now, 5% is what you need to take a seat in the Bundestag, and it seems Alternative for Germany will do just that. A Eurosceptic party, they are anti-Euro, and their party leader has been outlining exactly what he wants to do when, when Alternative for Germany get into the Bundestag. Well, you know that we are Eurosceptical, sceptical with reference to the common currency, and then we have a number of other issues, like, for instance, our energy policy or, like, the instability of our social security systems, like the issues of uh, immigration and integration into Germany, like the issue of education. So these will be the, the issues we deal with in the next four years. As much as this has been a good campaign for Alternative for Germany, it's been horrific for Angela Merkel's current coalition partners, the Free Democrats. In fact, many of the voters that would have voted Free Democrats seem to be turning towards other parties like Alternative for Germany. Now, what that could mean is some pretty dicey discussions when it comes to getting together a coalition here after the election. And Alternative for Germany's members are saying that if Angela Merkel wants them to be part of a coalition, it's her that's going to have to move towards them, not the other way around. We will never work with Angela Merkel if she is not willing to soften her stand on the euro as it is right now. It would be a real upset if Angela Merkel wasn't returned as German Chancellor after Sunday's ballot, but it does seem that after the votes have been cast, the real political wrangling will start when it comes to forming a new coalition here in Germany.